Hey RVers and future RVers, it's Mikey B with Beckley's RVs. We've got behind us a 2024 Keystone Springdale Mini 1860 SS. There ain't nothing mini about it. And you'll see when we get inside, big slide, full wall slide, it lives big. Let's go take a peek and show you all about this awesome little camper. All right, before we get inside to show you this Springdale Mini living big, let's point out some exterior features. Up front, we've got our pass-through storage. We always want a pass-through storage to be able to get a lot of our long, big goodies inside. And speaking of big and long, check out this awning. It is massive, full length, power awning, push a button, have party patio time in seconds. Got a nice grab uh, uh, bar handle, be able to get inside, um, especially if you got your arms loaded and need a little bit of uh, security popping inside. We have electric outlet out here so we can throw, throw like our music, TV, or even some cooking apparatuses outside. We do have a furnace, so even though it's a small camper, they don't cut corners, we have heat, we have air conditioning, we have the full, full goodies. And speaking of all the goodies, let's go to this uh, backside, the utility side. Back here in the corner, we have a cable hookup. So if you get to a campsite, easily be able to pipe in some uh, um, TV stations through the campgrounds uh, TV provider. We have our 30 amp electric outlet that we're gonna be able to hook into the post and be able to obviously turn on a lot of the electrical items inside. Check out this, you're gonna see more inside, but look how big this slide is. It's darn near almost the whole length of this wall and very deep so you'll see when we get inside how much that lends to floor space and livability and last but not least up front or up front towards in front of the slide is the rest of your hookups yeah we do have a water heater to give get nice hot water we have our water hookup as well as our fresh water tank so if we do go dry camping or go to a campground that may not have a water bib on site at your uh, spot we can take some water with you so many yeah, but it's big because it's got everything that you're gonna need to go camping. All right, so we're finally inside the Keystone Springdale Mini 1860 SS. And we mentioned about the slide on the outside. Man, it gives us so much room inside. Again, the long slide, the depth of the slide gives us a lot of floor space. So let's go ahead and get in this floor plan and get all about uh, the features and the livability of this. Starting up front, we have a nice big bed plenty of uh, storage, not only with the shirt closet to the side, but we've got a little uh, shelf at the top that we can get some stuff. But with this bed, you have to kind of do some, do some, uh, you know, trade-offs when we get into these smaller floor plans. A lot of times something gives. So we have plenty of space for two adults, but as you can see, if I'm on the back side of the bed, guess what? Midnight potty break, I'm crawling over somebody. So again, gives and takes in, in all these floor plans, especially on the smaller ones. But you're gonna see there's so much more value to, to this floor plan. Let's go ahead and jump over to that slide that I was mentioned about. So on the slide, we have, a, again, a lot of storage. They, they utilize some of that space behind us to throw some stuff in there, which is I think is genius. Nice big uh, windows in the slide out, so especially if it's a nice day, we can get some good cross uh, cross uh, ventilation. And the sofa can add as you got some camping buddies coming with you, you got an extra space that you can e easily convert into a bed and you can see some even more storage tucked behind it. And another genius uh, idea that they had was taking some of the sp uh, space down underneath the slide and giving us some drawers so we could tuck, tuck even more uh, goodies in there along, as you can see, three there and two back here. Booth is part of the slide too. So again, it gets all this furniture out of the way, giving us a lot of floor space. Definitely love, love how big the booth is. So we're not, even though it's a smaller floor plan, we're not sacrificing uh, really anything here in. So we easily can get four adults up here, play some cards, have your morning coffee. I'm 6'1", so just, just a note, the top of the slide's a little taller. So you're probably, I would say, what, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, you might be ducking down a little bit. But again, we can convert this into a bed if we want to. We have the two posts, just kind of wiggle, wiggle the table loose. <laughs> Don't drop it on your foot like I did. Industrial grade 
Velcro. And now we have another bed. When my kids were smaller, say like three, five, six, seven, whatever, that's where they slept. So we easily can get two kids in there. So if you got the grandkids or somebody coming along, boom, easy, easy peasy, you got a, like a double size bed. Tons of storage behind this. I, I love this. Again, mini, mini doesn't mean mini. It, it's living big. We have a big shirt closet here that we can divvy up, maybe throw some storage items in there. This storage here is partitioned off, so you can use that maybe as a pantry or get some shelf items in there. Big shelf here to give us a, I don't know, gosh, capacity to do whatever we want, but there is cable at the top. So obviously the TV is gonna go there and give us some, give us some uh, entertainment at night perhaps. Flip side, big refrigerator, big freezer, so. Oh, <laughs> a little trash there. Um, so you have a 12 volt refrigerator that's gonna cool really quick, but again, capacity wise, plenty of space to throw enough food to, for maybe a whole week or what have you. You're cooking here on your two burner stove. It's a propane, so you have a propane tank up front that does give you the heat source for your furnace, but then that way you also have the same uh, 20 pound that you could go exchange at any Walmart, uh, Lowe's, Home Depot, Tractor Supply, kind of those places that easily can swap them out in case you are in the colder temperatures or running low. We've got a couple more drawers that are nicely tucked underneath to throw some of our cooking utensils. Nice big storage underneath the sink. I always want a place for a trash can and so many floor plans, unfortunately, don't give us this height to put a nice big trash can in. So this way it can stay tucked out of the way, not in the way of the floor plan, or I should say the floor space. Of course your sink, you've got some more storage above, throw maybe some cups and plates and things like that. Microwave, extra light, and a, and a hood fan to be able to, in case you're, you're burning breakfast, you can get some of that smell out. We do have an air conditioner at the top. So as I mentioned outside, we have heat and air conditioning. So this AC is what you'll find a lot of times in up to a 30 foot trailer. So 20 foot floor plan like this, this is easily gonna chill you out. All right, last but not least, bathroom. And they certainly didn't cut corners on the bathroom. Again, as I was mentioned earlier, a lot of times we have give and take with the smaller floor plans they did not leave anything out in the full bathroom. We've got toilet, sink, shower, plenty of um, you know, stuff to, to kind of give a good home feeling of, of a bathroom. Pl storage there with the cubby hole next to it to throw a lot of your toiletries. Outlet so you can plug in and uh, maybe do up your hair or something, blow dry your hair for that Sunday breakfast at the campground. And here's your controls for your water heater. If I'm not mistaken, it's an instant water heater. So that'll give you a really nice unlimited supply of hot water. And as I mentioned, 6-1. So my head's a little bit here in, in the skylight, but at least we have the skylight to have that, um, that clearance. So I'm not ducking or anything, but still a nice big shower here with some elbow room and um, closet bar to hang up your your um, your shower curtain. So again, mini in the name, I don't think it really indicates that it's mini. This camper really lives big. Again, it's a 2024 Keystone Springdale Mini 1860 SS. All right, so there you have it, a floor, a 20 foot floor plan with a huge slide, weighs in about a little hair over 4,000 pounds, gives you almost 12,000 pounds of capacity. I don't know what you think, but I don't think there's anything mini about this camper. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Comment below, love to hear your questions, your comments, whether, what you like, what you didn't like, and show us some, some love. Smash that subscribe button. Again, this was the 2024 Keystone Springdale Mini 1860 SS. I'm Mikey B with Beckley's RVs. We'll see you at the campsites.